here in the little town of Nesbilam on the Colville Indian Reservation, there's a remarkable memorial to Chief Joseph, probably one of the greatest military leaders of our nation. vastly outnumbered by the United States Cavalry. And for three and a half months, he'd pick his location, stand and fight, and then retreat. Pick his location, stand and fight, and then retreat. He almost got his entire band of Nez Perce into Canada and freedom. When young men and women in the United States military go to West Point or to the War College, they never dream that they're gonna learn about an Indian leader, but it's still taught today. Chief Joseph and his band of Nez Perce Indians taught us a whole new set of lessons about warfare. Chief Joseph was a remarkable military leader, and after the Indian Wars were over, he was assigned by the United States government and forced to live here in the Colville Reservation. And that's where he lived out his life. He's honored today by our military leaders, honored today by our civic leaders, and he's in every single history book. He was a remarkable leader and a very interesting part of our state's history. This truly is one of my favorite places. Support for My Favorite Places is provided by the Washington Hospitality Association and by Weatherly Inn, senior living where it's home and your family.